let us look into login bypass using SQL injection. So let us go to BWAP and go to the SQL injection section and login form slash hero. So this is the login page. So let's give test and test and it says invalid credentials. Let's give a real username which is Neo and password which is Trinity and give login and you can see it has logged in and it's saying welcome Neo how are you today your secret is there is no spoon so you can see this is an authentication procedure which happened properly now let's go single quote and you can see now it's giving you have an error in your SQL syntax so that means whatever uh, the single quote you gave has broken the script So let's give single quote space or one is equal to one and um, colon and hash hit login and you can see it has logged in as Neo. So let's look at the one of the PHP code. So you can see it's so this is the one of the PHP code and you can see that it is getting the login and the password from the post that the user makes and it's just going to put that in a SQL statement over here so login is equal to this login and password is equal to this password and um, if there is a record set then it will log in else it will give an error so you can see this is the invalid credentials error and this is the login message so it's gonna give welcome and the username that that's the login and the secret of that user So let's look at it at the database perspective. So let's go MySQL hyphen u root. So you're going to be the root user in this database. So we'll go to the uh, BWAP database. And uh, let's copy and paste the uh, SQL query that's gonna go and like before we're gonna give the username and password as test and it's returning an empty set because there is no user uh, there's no data in the, data in the database containing the username password and the uh, username uh, test and the password test <coughs> so here in the password we're gonna give Trinity and here we're gonna give Neo and you can see it's giving a result because there is a user call a user with these details so over here we're gonna close give a single quote and close this um, over here and give or one is equal to one which is a true statement and we're gonna give semicolon and hash so what this hash does is that it comments out everything after this so the password section over here does not need to be satisfied and you can see it's giving a result and it is the result from here that it shows in the page so this is how to do login bypass using SQL injection <coughs>